All right, everybody, we're here with Joey Ucrop, and he's going to tell us about his Roadster. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we are really excited to be out here at Charlie Haskell of North Palm Speed's uh, Harvest Drags. Uh, we've been, I went here as a spectator last year and I had just started on my Roadster. I have a build turn in the ham called Building My First Roadster in San Francisco. And at that point, the car had no floor, no doors, you know, nothing about it was put together. But I came out here and Charlie and everybody let me drive their cars and race them. So basically the bug was planted where I said, I'm coming back and I'm bringing my Roadster. So, you know, we live 600 and some miles away. So, you know, we had to bring the, haul the car up here, but there was nothing that was gonna stop us. We said, we gotta do this. So to have this car and we were over uh, about 15 minutes away and just to cruise this car on back roads in the fog in beautiful Oregon, to come out here to race this morning was one of the best experiences to, I mean, just to be out here and to have this car in a setting that's not, this, cause I live in the city by Golden Gate Park and to have, this car out in the fields with the trees and stuff it feels very at home out here even though it's never been so this is yeah this is my roadster it's uh i basically built it in you know early 40s style i still got mechanical brakes 35 ford wires and the banger that i put you know some speed equipment on and when i started the build i i was just gonna you know get a lot of aftermarket stuff and you know just kind of get it so i get it running but as the build progressed i was able to work out all these old pieces to put on it so it has like an old tube header that was gas welded together back in the day it's got a, a downdraft from an old petaluma hot rod up in the north bay it's got an old chrome front cover old chrome side cover and uh it was really fun a krager side cover as well and just to be able to work with friends and even like my brother helped me with the fuel system he was out from michigan and just kind of put this thing together where it looked i'd like to think that the car the goal is for it to look like it's been together for years and years and years you know nothing on it's perfect uh, but I think that's what makes it mine and I think that being able to I drive this car every day in San Francisco I park it on the street when I'm out to dinner when I do all this stuff and it's really uh, it's a lot of fun so being out here and I'm used to seeing just my car and seeing so many cars so many early Fords around it is it's like it's coming home it's been a uh, it's been really special and we haven't even started racing yet so it's uh, gonna be a we're in for a really fun day and I'm really I couldn't be more grateful and more excited to be here with not only myself and with some of my best friends but also with my car yeah well i i watched you put it together on the ham and you did an awesome job man it's a it's an adventure for all of us uh the way you write up um your adventures and finding parts and and putting things together you've just got a great way of writing and really appreciate you doing that like I said, it's entertaining for all of us. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. It's yeah, uh, with like with everybody's car that's here and everybody who's ever built a hot rod. Maybe, every piece has a story. Even if it's a new piece, there's a story on how you made it fit, and there's a story how it's come together, and there's a reason why you have it. Nothing here is done by accident. And I think that I, I as a journalist, I really enjoy telling the stories of where these pieces came from and who they came from and why they're there. And to get to have it all together in something that you can actually turn the key and drive, that's been pretty big for me yeah yeah when i was building my car man some of the good memories is where you got that piece yep. from the person you talk to and right. that's what it's all about man that's about hot rod you know building relationships and friends and learning learning things and just a great experience all around that's exactly right that's yeah. a great way to put it yeah well thanks joey thank you so much for having me i'm really i'm excited. looking forward to seeing you out in the dirt there yeah that's right that's hey, right gonna be fun here. man to see it. your car looks amazing and uh to see him you know looks amazing for those of you who are watching that haven't seen it in person it looks so cool in photos all that stuff but to see it in real life with that paint job and that chop unbelievable it's so it looks so good and have it next to my car is really special two ham cars right together yeah like this. yeah so, right on ham very, very all right well thanks joey thank you so much <laughs> appreciate it